G'day there and today we're going to be looking at how we can monitor our students and their activity within Blackboard Learn and I'm going to show you three uh, functions performance dashboard, unit reports and early warning system. Before I get started on occasions today I'll be obscuring parts of the screen in order to uh, protect student privacy. Okay so let's get into the browser here I am. I'm in a particular unit and under the left hand menu under the heading which reads evaluation there are a number of options here and I'm going to show you each of these but I think I'll start with the performance dashboard it's perhaps the most simple to run and to understand so let me click onto that so what this performance dashboard shows is uh, basically the activity of our students within this unit. It lists each student here, it gives important information since the last date of access, and I like this column actually, days since last access, so it shows you how recently they've been in, um, and for instance there are students here that have never been in, so that might be a really good opportunity for if you like early inf intervention and pastoral care, you'll be able to spot students that um, may need some assistance so that they don't drift off into the wilderness and become NENs and in fact be able to intervene early and mitigate risk so that's a really good use of these this sort of information. Um, there are other columns such as discussion board uh, contributions so if that is a factor in your unit of study you may want to for instance um, see how many discussion board posts your students have contributed or indeed if you want to get more detail you can click on to one of the numbers here and that will actually display the individual submissions by that student. Okay, moving uh, back again. Um, the other element here and I might just shrink this left menu so that you can see it more easily is that you also have an opportunity to jump straight into the Grade Centre for that student if that's useful. So consider that a potted summary of student activity. It gives you a little bit of an insight um, and if you need further information there are other instruments to do that. I'm going to open that left menu again and this time I'm going to go into Unit Reports. Now there are a number of reports here um, and for instance you can see one here user activity in forum so again if discussion boards contribute much of your activity that might be a useful report for purposes of demonstration I'm going to use this overall summary of user activity clicking on that and pressing run and I've now got some choices to make I can select the format that the report that's generated will arrive in and it's really useful I think to know that you can get a PDF copy of that report which you can then download, print, etc. Just for this presentation I'm just going to choose the HTML report um, that just displays easily on screen and then you can specify a date range that you want to run the report across and lower down should you choose to you can choose specific re um, students to report against or if you make no selection it will report all of your students and then I hit submit now depending on the size of that unit and how much activity has occurred that report can take just a moment. Here it is for me. Um, it has a graph at the top of the screen which gives a bit of a summary breakdown of the types of activity and level of activity by the students. Um, the way it measures activity by the way is on clicks. So more clicks the bigger the slice of pie in this graph um, that you can see at the top. And so by that measure the discussion board has received perhaps the most activity followed by content items which is just general content followed by um, messages. So there you go, bit of a breakdown, nice sort of overall summary view and then should you need to you can drill down and find what the specific patterns of behaviour have been for each and every one of your individual students, what they've clicked on etc. So that can be useful as well but sometimes it doesn't tell the story that you want and you'd actually like your own report please um, and indeed uh, Blackboard provides functionality for that under this thing called early warning system which effectively allows you to write your own rules indicating that I want to see for instance students that haven't logged in in this last fortnight let me see if we can demonstrate that for you. So I'm clicking into early warning system 
and I can create a series of what I've referred to as rules and uh, why don't I start with that last access rule um, so I'm going to create a report which is not in the last 14 days I want basically to report on students that have not logged in in the last uh, fortnight so I give it a title and I can type in the criteria here is 14 days since last access 14 and submit so I get the report appears in this screen this refreshes every now and again um, but you may indeed want to press the refresh button yourself so that you're getting up-to-date copies of the report so I'm going to select that report and hit refresh and allow that to happen and now you can see that the last time it was refreshed was today at this time and that six students of the total 16 haven't logged in in the last 14 days well that's interesting to me and indeed if I want to I can then click in and go to this thing called review rule status and from here I can get the the detailed information about which students have or have not logged in in that 14 name time frame so okay let's see what other types of early warning systems we can put into play um, I can create a rule which is about their grades perhaps it might be that I want to know everyone who's got less than 50 percent in assignment one let's say again I give it a title and I choose the column that I want to report against so it's this one here and then the criteria less than or equal to and in this case I'm going to give it a percent 50 percent okay again because I want to show you this straight away I'm going to force it to refresh that report and indeed very fortunately in this particular report there are no students that meet that criteria so that's nice we don't have any students at risk but of course you could um, use that again as a if you like a pastoral care tool to be able to identify students that were having problems um, and then offer them proactive support and you can build quite a complicated set of rules and then you know just use this as a bit of an eyeball scan every now and again it's also possible to send those students that meet those criteria messages etc etc but I think initially it's just about being able to get a quick assessment of activity within your unit work out what's working and in some cases what's not so that you know how best to, to uh, manage your support needs for students and where you may need to proactively intervene so I hope that's useful to you